Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and today we're looking at the Wim One smartwatch by Wim Labs. Actually, in a sense, um, this doesn't have to be a smartwatch. It's actually a module in itself, a um, little mini computer, um, where um, you can, I guess, put it on a keychain or whatever. But uh, most people will be utilizing it as a watch. Let me first show you uh, the packaging that it comes in. Uh, it's a very nice box and um, would be nice as a gift for somebody or for yourself. Uh, open up the box on the first level uh, is where the uh, WIM1 module is presented and then on the next level is the instructions and uh, here would be where the wristband is and then below that you would have the uh, charger and um, uh, docking plate or, and um, charging cord shall we say. Basically, um, this is it in a nutshell. It is 1.26 inches by 1.42, and it's about a half inch thick, which that equates to about 12 and a half millimeters. So it's a little thicker than, um, you know, the very good uh, high-end cell phone. Just to give you a perspective, you'll only find one button on it, and that is for the power, uh, which you shouldn't normally need. Um, you will obviously use it when you first uh, buy it and take it out of the box. Other than that, I guess unless the battery goes dead, you shouldn't need it. Below, at the bottom, we have a 14-pin connector, which goes on the charger. Um, and Speaking of the charger, let's pull that and show you what that looks like. This is it basically right here. It's a charging dock or plate, and it's connected uh, with micro USB. It connects right in here. And on the other end is a USB for your computer, so you can actually connect your WIM-1 to your computer and use it as a mass storage device. I believe there's about 2 gigs of, of a space available for pictures or files or whatever. And then, of course, you have your plug-in here uh, to plug it into the wall to charge. I believe it would probably charge with the computer as well, but I haven't uh, tested that. So basically, it goes right in here, and it's kind of magnetic. So it basically locks right in place there, and as you can see, it won't fall out. And you can, for your convenience, you can also put it in while it's uh, while the module's in the wristband as well, so you don't have to remove it. Um, but uh, you know, either way, it, it it does work. Now, speaking of the wristband, let's pull that aside. And here's the wristband, uh, pretty straightforward buckle, and. Um, Basically, the module itself goes in from the bottom, and it just goes, whoops, goes right in and snaps right in place. Very easy. Let's just take it out for a second right now while I fire it up. Now, I've actually already uh, had this uh, for about a day and a half, uh, so I did a factory reset on it. Um, so, basically, I just wanted to kind of show you what it's like. Uh, out of the box, uh, you know, basically the procedure and everything. So while that's firing up, let me just tell you a little bit more. It has a Samsung ARM 11 processor running at 667 megahertz. It has a 160 by 160 uh, capacitive touchscreen that's backlit. As you can see, it's backlit right now, but now when it's when the light is out it's reflective so you can still see this display so you can still tell the time and all that good stuff without having to turn it on which is good for battery speaking of battery it's about 30 hours battery life is the way they're uh, claiming it has Wi-Fi and has Bluetooth Bluetooth is for connecting to your phone to get text messages and to let you know when someone's calling you it has an accelerometer and a magnetometer I'm not sure if I said that right and it has GPS, uh, which right now the GPS isn't working so well, uh, but they're going to be working on a fix for that, and I'm sure that's going to be coming shortly. Um, it's splash resistant as well. All right, so basically, uh, this is what happens when you first fire it up. It asks for Wi-Fi right away because you need that in order to um, basically connect with the WIMS uh, website, which is what it needs to do to sync when you get applications or make any changes to settings that you do from your desktop or tablet or phone. So basically, uh, let's just go into the Wi-Fi. And I have an open Wi-Fi right now to make this easy. And it'll find a, it'll find a um, Wi-Fi. And we'll just go right in. 
and once it obtains the address it will give me a four letter four digit uh, code to input on the website so it's acquiring the code now and that's how you'll um, pair it or basically put it with your account uh, on the WIM server alright so there we go so basically what you're supposed to do is just go to wim.com slash link and basically you would create an account and um, in my case I already have an account and I'm going to get the um, Galaxy Tab 7.7 .7 here and as you can see um, we are at the uh, proper website um, when you go in it just adds dev dot, uh, slash, or dev dot wim dot com slash link and since I already have an account, since I already set one up, it's basically um, not asking me to set up uh, my username and all that good stuff, but that's very simple. Just basically enter your email and password and you'll be good to go. When I first set it up, I did it on my phone. Right now I'm using the Galaxy Tab 7.7 .7 that just launched on, launched on Verizon. So we'll go ahead and link it right now. and that'll take a couple seconds there it goes so in here now is you'll see um, where you can go into your devices uh, there's a mini uh, micro app store which we'll get into in another video that's where you'll get some apps uh, to download to your uh, dev your um, I keep wanting to say phone but your watch I'm not used to doing reviews uh, for watches, and um, basically, right all, you know, right from the beginning, you can set up different things here for your time, 12-hour, 24-hour format, and basically, you want to change your home city right away. It's most likely you're not going to live in Los Altos, California. If you do, uh, great, you're in luck. Um, that is the default location for whatever reason, and um, you want to go ahead and change that, and that's done. The sync interval is already set up for uh, two hours, uh, or sorry, th uh, three hours, and you can change it uh, for every hour or go to go longer time frame. There, we'll leave it at the three hours, and you can change to American uh, metric and all that good stuff. So, uh, also you can go in here and um, go into the micro app settings. There are already some apps that are already installed on your phone um, right off the bat and um, what we'll do is we'll go into um, calendar and uh, basically I'm going to link uh, my Google account uh, to add Google Calendar and I'm going to go ahead and do that and it will ask for allow access Basically, uh, just um, hiding my email address there, but uh, that is uh, went ahead and already um, accepted it, and it gives me the choice of removing it at any time um, or editing it for whatever reason. Okay, let's go into the world clock, and you can see um, I have the home city is already set, but you can add or remove other cities. Um, or countries or whatever for, in, for the world clock uh, to display all that pretty simple and straightforward they also offer forums on the site for help and some developer information as well so that's pretty much it in a nutshell and you can change settings basically when you make changes here uh, those changes will be reflected on your device when it syncs right now it's synced for every three hours but we can also force it so let's go ahead and force it um, basically right now as I go back to the device now it's asking me is the time okay and we'll say fine or edit it and basically we're in now but and it's showing the world clock but this is basically all the apps uh, that come with the device now let me just go into settings here and do a sync and we're going to sync now so you can force this anytime if you make changes and then after a couple seconds here it should uh, be reflected and it will update with my weather 
there's the uh, default uh, watch face and actually the weather will come in here once it's fully done sinking let me see if it's there yet Oops. there it is so basically now it's been synced because it has my home area now let's put it into the watch here and kind of show you put it in the watch strap I mean and kind of show you what it's like in usability while it's on your wrist and just go ahead and put this on all right so we're set up now what okay now we're set up and basically this is the main uh, watch face uh, basically you're going to you have two things to do here you can either swipe up or swipe down now swipe down will give you your battery level and right now you can see it's a little over half the battery level would go all the way um, to the right side and if you're connected to your phone it will show a Bluetooth um, symbol right now it's not so it's not showing that if you swipe up that's how you get to all your apps so basically you would scroll uh, to the right or left now uh, the calculator I downloaded some apps for the device uh, yes, you know, yesterday before I did a factory reset, those apps are still in my in my username, so they're still showing up. So the calculator, the Sporty Pal, Active, and the Coffee Card uh, did not come with the device, but these apps did. Uh, so you know, right when you start it up, this is what you'll already have on your phone. You'll have the weather, and in order to go further on any of these, you just scroll up, and you get more information. So you actually go into the app. So there's uh, the weather and I have the next five or six days. One of the things I have found is for whatever reason, whatever it shows for the high, that's what it shows for my temperature. So I don't know if there's a bug there or what. So you scroll um, down to go back up to all the apps. Now you have your calendar. So to go into your calendar, you scroll up. I don't have much uh, set in the calendar right now, but um, you can see you got there's my dog's birthday coming up in a few days so I gotta make a trip to the pet store so pretty straightforward Just swipe up to go back to the apps uh, there's the world clock that I sh uh, was telling you we have different settings so when you go in it's gonna show your home area and you can swipe uh, to go to different parts of the world and see the time and then go swipe down and then there's a timer that already comes on board again pretty straightforward to scroll up and you can set it to whatever you want you can set it for in between those times so whatever you want click start very straightforward then there's an alarm which is also very straightforward set your time turn it on or off and a stopwatch again straightforward and then back to settings now let's settings let's look at that I already showed you sync there's an airplane mode as well uh, you can turn off Wi-Fi uh, to conserve battery if you're not going to be around Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is off right now, but you can obviously turn that on, and I'll be again showing you that in another video. Location is on for the GPS, which I guess isn't working so great. It's my understanding. Uh, you can change your brightness, um, your sound level, and your vibration. That's on. The time is set to auto. Now the software, this is the latest software it released um, a week or so ago, and it's 1.0.3.1859 and I guess some of the major changes there is on the app screen it was more of a carousel before and now it's not so much um, whoops go back in the settings there and after about there's factory reset and some advanced stuff and of course there's a shutdown basically enable lost phone warning which I haven't gotten into at all mount is a USB storage and then USB debugging and um, disable sleep while connected and um, auto dismiss watch face which I'm not familiar with so that's basically the settings in a nutshell and that's pretty much it oh that's of course I gotta show you the watch faces now you can customize your watch faces there's already I don't know five or six or seven watch faces that come on board but of course you can download different ones as well which I'll get into but basically if you hold down the screen you can select different watch faces now here's an analog clock one that I like 
and it even has the uh, seconds as well. Now I'm going to let the light, the backlight, go out here so you you can see that you'll be able to still tell the time under normal lighting conditions. And there it goes. It's going to go out. And basically, if you're in an app and the backlight goes out, it defaults right to the clock also. So you know, anytime you look at your clock, there it is. So you you don't have to you know turn on the backlight to see the time. So to turn on the backlight, you gotta just push down and hold it there for a little bit. And again, here's some more watch faces. Now, this is also Android 2.1, which at first was a turnoff for me uh, because I'm like, why do I want something with Android 2.1? But I realized after getting this that this isn't a phone or a tablet. It, it really doesn't matter what version of Android it is. I could tell you this is ice cream sandwich. It wouldn't make a difference. This is meant to be not to be not to do everything your phone can do it's meant to be an extension um, do I quickly here this is a, an actual app that I downloaded as well this doesn't come stock on the phone but it's free you can download it again it was in my account I'll show you that in another video but you can add pictures to your clock your watch face so that's pretty cool here's a slot machine type watch face so basically what I'm saying is that this is an extension of your phone and um, it's meant to do, you know, give you some quick things like see if you've got a text message or see if you've got a phone call. Um, you or to do simple things like I showed that coffee card app I was just showing you. Um, I went to Starbucks earlier today and bought a coffee, showing a barcode, and I just waved my uh, my hand over and she scanned it. Things like that. Um, and I'm telling you, I really like what I'm seeing here from the folks at WIM. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Uh, but what first item is perfect? Uh, look at what the original Droid was, which we all loved, and now what we have like with the Galaxy Nexus. So this is a great beginning, and uh, from what I see after you know a day and a half with it, I'm, I'm really loving it, and I really can't wait to see what more things are going to be coming out of this. Development's already uh, going pretty well. Uh, there's about 33, 35 apps there. Um, there's some games and different things, which again, I'm going to show you. Um, and it really is, this is really, uh, I'm really impressed. So, um, so look for a couple more videos. I'm going to show you a video soon on syncing it with your phone and then going through a lot of the different apps. And uh, let the backlight go out again so you can see this display as well. So that's what it will look like. Um, unless it's really dark, you should be able to see your time at any given time. So, um, so that's that. So thanks for watching and uh, look for another uh, couple uh, videos coming up. And again, this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.